So what was I doing? So um, I was playing around with relative minors and majors. So basically in some of the inversions, I'm basically in the key of, you can think of it as either B flat major or um, G minor. So um, I think you have to lean either major or minor. I'm a major person, as I said before. And um, in this case, the key of B flat uh, majors relative minor is G minor, okay? All that means is if you look at B flat, major seventh, or this way, okay? The relative minor of that is G minor seventh. All that means is that um, easy way to do it using the fingerboard as your um, as your guide is if you find a B flat, okay, go three down, frets down, one, two, three. That's right here. That is the um, the G minor. In this case, it's a G minor seven, right there. The other way, which is probably the more theoretical way, is just to harmonize um, the, the 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 key itself or the the scale. So in this case. In the key of B flat, there's um, only two flats, um, which is B flat, where it gets the name from, the tonic, and the fourth note, which is E flat. And so the um, sixth note of that is the G, which is a uh, minor. So if, if you recall from harmonizing scales, which is a great harmonic way to kind of understand um, jazz theory and harmonic structure, is for each note in the scale, there is a corresponding chord, okay? And it has a Roman numeral. So in this case, we start with the tonic in the key of, of um, B flat major. The notes are B flat major, then right here, which is a C, that's gonna be a minor seven. So this is first note, major seven. So second note right here, C is gonna be a minor seven. So that's the two chord. So one chord is B flat major seven, two chord, C um, a minor seven. The three is always minor as well. And in this case is D minor seven. So right now you have B flat major seven, C minor seven, D minor seven. Then the fourth chord is always major seven. In this case is the that um, flatted E flat. flat major seven. So you got one, two, minor seven, three, minor seven, and then the fourth, which is the E flat major seven. Five is always a dominant seventh. In this case, it's right here. That is the um, F dominant seven. So again, B flat major seven, C minor seven, D minor seven, E flat major seventh, F dominant seven, and the sixth chord, which is the relative minor of that one chord, is the G minor seventh. If you continued, the eighth, I'm sorry, the seventh, is always some type of a diminished chord, or minor, in this case, um, it's a minor seven flat at fifth. A minor seven flat, if it was just like that, and then you go back to this, which is the B flat major seven that you started off here. So that's just a quick little way to always harmonize, learn how to harmonize um, 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 your scales. So again, the relationship of relative minor to relative major. So in this case, B flat major, relative minor is G minor seventh, okay? All that means is that you can play, that actually that means it's the exact same notes, except your starting point is different. So in this case, uh, B flat major seven scale looks like this. A G minor seven scale. Okay, so that's the relationship. And at the beginning of this thing, what I was playing was just inversions of chords. Um, I don't know where I started off with, but this is a G minor seventh. And this is also the first inversion of a G minor seventh. Just like that. And this is also a G minor seventh. And all of G minor, all the inversion I should say means is 
the exact same notes are in here. It's just the way they're ordered is different. Okay, and they have a little different sound because where you start um, with your pick, that kind of stuff is different. But the exact same notes. I'm not gonna go through them all, but these are just the forms. Like, so this is G minor seventh, G minor seventh. This is G minor seventh, and if I had more frets, uh, I can hit this. Okay, that's the G minor seventh arpeggio. I'm sorry, inversions, and that's what I said. I was just practicing strumming that. Now, the B flat major seventh, I started here. This is the first inversion. And then this is another way of playing it. And this is an inversion. So this and this are the same. All right. So these are some good things to practice is um, learn the relationship between the majors and the minors in terms of relative minor or relative major, pick one. I mean, I pick the major and I always try to know what the relative minor of it because it's, it's like a two for one. If you know the scale really, really well, if I know the major scale, I know three frets down or however we want to process it intellectually, the notes are exactly the same. Um, inversions are really, really nice. Don't get hung up on them. They're the same chords, just played in different order. Listen to how they sound contextually. It's gonna help you navigate the fretboard in and of itself. So, all right, keep practicing. Hopefully this helps and have a great Sunday. Take care.